So my name is Mesha Kenyo. I work with African Union. Um, I'm supporting the African Union Space Program and I'm also working for the project called GMS in Africa. Uh, GMS in Africa is an initiative collaboration between African Union and European Union in direct applications of Earth Observation, which is one of the four pillars of the African Space Program. And the African Space Program, as you know, is in the embryonic stage right now. And, and we are working uh, directly to ensure that the member states have the capacity and also to uh, work coherently in terms of infrastructure, in terms of the human capital development. And I think youth involvement will be in three axes uh, in my view. One is to ensure that they acquire the requisite skills um, and that's the capital development part of it. As soon as they are uh, equipped with good skills and, and uh, brains for their job, now they can go to the member states and, and play the role of um, either advocacy in terms of the policy aspect as well as uh, being in the projects that are actually implementing the space program itself. If I look at the numbers, um, the World Bank conducted some research and, and, and their study indicated that you know, Africa contributes less than 1% of all the research outputs in the world. And, and that's sad because Africa has about 17 or 16.7 percent of the entire population of the world. So the numbers don't match and there's a huge gap there. Um, of the less than 1 percent contribution, 29 percent of that is actually physical sciences which is needed in the space sector. Um, so you can see the number that we are talking about is very, very low in the first place. We, we have not even looked at the quality of that you know, output. Um, so to tell you that there is a huge gap and we need to match, you know, to close that gap of skills. Uh, because in order for you to have a very uh, versatile or, or space economy, you must have critical mass of, of scientists and, and, you know, experts that are required in this domain. And uh, the youths are needed much more because, um, first of all, we have to account for the time that they have to study and acquire these skills. But then when they study, we have also to ensure that they are going somewhere. It's not just that they are studying and going to practice something else. And I give you an example of someone like myself. I studied with people in the courses, in the space course, but they didn't find a job in the market. So they had to go to banks. Some of them have to go to other institutions that are not really related to space. And, and, and I can tell you that this is happening not only in, in my case, but in many other cases uh, across the continent. Uh, so we have to ensure that as, as, as in as much as we are investing in the skill development of the, of the young people, we have to ensure that the infrastructure and the opportunities are matching. Otherwise, we will suffer from what we call the brain drain, and we have been seeing that a lot, you know, people migrating to other continents and contributing that. You know, as a matter of fact, the, the current evolution that we are seeing over the, um, in, in the nations, especially the US, Europe, and everywhere on, on space is actually by Africans that have migrated so we have to, we are losing in terms of dividends in this sector and we have to do something for, for our young people.